got the keys, keys, keys. I got the keys, keys, keys. I got the keys. welcome or welcome back to my channel if you are new here hey girl hey listen this is a long awaited vlog i know y'all have been waiting so long for this vlog so you know i'm not gonna keep you waiting but before we get into this video i want to take a minute to introduce today's sponsor for this vlog because girl Moving is expensive and your girl has to get her coins, okay? I want to thank a TMI Blends for sponsoring today's video. So I have collaborated with them before. So they have sent me one of my favorite products, which is their Greens Superfood Blends. I wanted to come on here and show you guys how I make my breakfast smoothies using their green superfood blends they have a variety of products like skincare and also some dietary supplements as well so this product here is their greens superfood blends so just to give you some details on this product this is a nutritious blend of plant-based superfoods it's perfect for getting a daily dose of powerful greens Okay, so you wanna mix one scoop of this in your water or you can add this to your smoothie. I personally love it in my smoothies. All of the ingredients are there to, you know, just help me, give me a boost in my nutrition. So this has 16 superfood ingredients. It's 100% plant-based, it's vegan, GMO-free, gluten-free, dairy and soy free make sure that you check out tea my blends i will have a link in my description box also a coupon code so you can get your hands on this you know some of the ingredients named in here like kill powder spinach powder broccoli powder parsley powder celery powder grapeseed extract so a lot of really good nutrients that a lot of times we don't get on a daily basis we can have this in our foods so I'm gonna show you guys some of the ingredients that I personally use when I'm making my smoothies, including the superfood greens. Here I have some strawberries, some organic blueberries, a whole banana, baby spinach. Yes, I do like to add spinach in my smoothies and you don't really taste it that much. It's just in there and it's good for you. I use almond milk and then I put a scoop of this in here. And of course, you guys, look at this cute tumbler that they have. I'm obsessed with their tumblers, okay? I think it's so cute. Now, the reason why I personally like this in my smoothies instead of just water, for me personally, is because the taste of this is pretty strong. Um, it might be the wheatgrass, but it has a pretty unique taste to it, okay? So this is how I like to make my green juices, okay? Sometimes I'll add some chia seeds in there as well. Chia seeds has a lot of benefits for your health, so you guys should look that up. Make sure that you guys check the link in my description box. That's not a ghost, I just opened that up. <laughs> make sure you guys check the link in my description box down below to get details on Tea My Blends. Use my coupon code and let me know down below if you've tried this. I hope you guys enjoyed today's vlog and with no further ado, let's get into this video, girl. Okay. Okay. Hey, you guys let me open these blinds put some light up in this be like it's too it's too gloomy up in here i am vlogging on my phone so if the camera quality is not the best that's why so today i got a call that i got approved for my apartment i owe it all to the men above and so i'll be moving out of here you know i'll be moving out of here i went ahead and decided to move this saturday 
So yes, yeah, Saturday is my moving date. Matter of fact, I need to go ahead and call the office of my new apartment because I already booked time with movers and everything. They're coming to pick my things up and pack up this apartment this Saturday driving it to my new apartment dropping it off there so i need there are some things i need to get done like transfer georgia power you know renter's insurance signing lease i already got my renter's insurance i gotta get my georgia power and i gotta um transfer my xfinity my cable and internet and i had to work today so really i'm moving while working full-time <laughs> like girl this is a lot my mom wanted to help me out, but she, she got to work too. I'm about to go ahead and start packing my clothes. The main thing I'm going to do is throw all my clothes in boxes. And the kitchen, I'm going to probably tackle that tomorrow or I'll start today. And I just got to make sure I have my things in boxes. So let's get to work. I'll probably have some music in the background. <laughs> now leaving the apartment and i'm heading to my mom's for the night you know i just want to be really transparent and keep it real with you guys like that's i always try to do that because it's other people that that's going through the same thing i'm going through i've been burying myself at work like working 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 but the reality of it is at the end of the day i have to face what i'm going through and start the healing process so I can come out on the other side better, stronger, and like a better version of me. Like, I'm going through this for a reason, you know? You know, there's a lot going on. I just, like, I just ended a six-year relationship, starting a new job, and just somewhere in between finding myself. Like, I'm in my 20s. Being in your 20s is fucking hard, okay? <laughs> I don't know who makes this shit sound like it's peaches and cream honey but it is hard and even for the people that seem or it may seem like they got it together like they have a career they have whatever going on for them this shit is hard you are somewhere in between lost and coming out stronger on the other end to find yourself you can get lost in between that too it's crazy because I just feel like this whole everything I'm going through right now it's just taking me closer to something bigger and better for me so yeah I just wanted to be transparent and open up let you guys see the good and the bad it's not all peaches and cream girl like it ain't okay face the problem get through the pain like this shit is gonna suck like it sucks right now but get through the pain heal yourself you know 
and toughen up and move forward like you know what i'm saying find things that help you spend time with family pray um like pray pray a lot i just need to really work on me before i can give everybody else a part of me you get what i'm saying what's up guys good morning it's moving day it's super gloomy outside so please do not mind that i'm just not leaving my mom's house i'm getting ready to go to the house and finish packing up because the movers are coming in two hours i gotta pick up my keys at 10 o'clock and it's 8 48. i got approved for my apartment thursday Move-in day was Saturday, which is today. So I literally had Thursday afternoon and yesterday to pack my whole apartment and everything that I got going on. We made it work. We made it work, girl, okay? Cause she don't play. I've been looking so rough these past few days. I just got up this morning, did a little one-two with my face. I only did my brows, my lashes, and I put some concealer. These are my real lashes too, girl. Okay. <laughs> and so yeah, I am feeling cute. Um, so right now I'm at Starbucks just to grab me something to hold me up for the day, some breakfast. I'm gonna try their new drink. I think they have a new drink that just came out. I'm gonna try that. I'm gonna need it for the day. I need some energy today. Let's see what this drink. Let's see what this drink is given today. What is it? Which one is the newest drink? Hey, welcome to Starbucks. My name is Scar. What's your name? Hi. Good morning, uh, Taja. Hey Tasha, how are you doing today? Pretty good, how are you? Doing great. What can we get started for you? Um, your two newest drinks. Is it the brown sugar oat milk and the chocolate almond milk? Yes, those are our two newest drinks. What is the difference between both? Okay, so the chocolate almond milk is going to have like a chocolate malt powder in it. And then, all right, now the brown sugar oat milk is going to be our brown sugar syrup and then oat milk in it instead of the almond milk. Uh, and then cinnamon powder on top. Uh, depending on the size, like a grande on both, it's three blonde shots. I would definitely suggest the brown sugar, but okay. I also don't like malt powder, so. Yeah. Okay, well, well, let's do the brown sugar and I'll do two shots instead of three. That'll be fine. All right, now you said you wanted to do the brown sugar two shots instead of three? Yes, I'll do a tall. No problem. Okay. That's going to be nine ninety four at the window. Thank you. Thank you. She was so sweet. She was so helpful. Cause I know some, some baristas or some people just get upset when you start asking them questions like, sis, I don't know, like they don't care. <laughs> so I'm gonna try the brown sugar, oat milk, something. Um. All right, 8.59, we gotta get going, sis. Come on everybody, let's go. Get up, get up, let's go. I've been watching so many moving vlogs, you know, kind of getting ideas on really, I don't know why I do that, but anytime I'm about to do something, I always like watch videos of it on YouTube. I don't know, like if I'm packing to go somewhere, I'll watch like packing vlogs, travel vlogs. You know, if I'm moving, I'll watch moving vlogs. If I am starting a new job, I'll watch like, you know, like first day at work jobs type of vlogs. Like I go to, YouTube is my retreat. I just love YouTube. Like, I love watching YouTube videos. I do that more than I watch cable, honey. Okay. Oh, speaking of cable, I didn't call them today. I'm trying to see how I can transfer my stuff out there. I'm about to listen to Shinsea. Oh my God, that is my chick. She is so dope, y'all. Shinsea. This is my song, y'all. It's called, this song is called Shore Shore. Y'all know, y'all know my Caribbean self. Like, you know, I gotta get a, a taste of my Caribbean. Usually I'm in. We can't get copyright. We gotta get paid. So tall iced brown sugar oat milk espresso. I did a single shot because, honey, all, all this coffee. I've been having a lot of coffee these past few days. and mm -mm. But you know what I should have did? I should have added some foam on top. I forgot to do that. This tastes so different. And I should have did light ice because they always overflow it with light with ice. This is pretty good. It's not too sweet. Me not know about you, but me know about me. No man can lick me. Some girl love them. I got the keys, keys, keys. I got the keys, keys, keys. I got the keys, 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 keys. Hold up, cause it's cold in here. I'm in the air on my right Let's try to see 
I'm gonna go ahead and do my empty apartment tour. <gasps> of course this camera is about to die. I think I'm gonna go ahead and do the tour on my phone. I feel like the camera, the quality is so much better. They even left me a little gift, a little welcome. So you first walk in, first walk in. The left here, there's this door mini storage room i'll probably have my shoes in here when i walk in the house i'm probably gonna have a little shoe stand in here and you can hang up your coats then right here is another door where my washer and dryer is so stackable washer dryer we finna clean all of this up honey okay we finna get in there and deep clean this whole house in here is just like utility closet okay like ac stuff Here's to the kitchen. Do not mind my junk in here, but I have a beautiful kitchen, y'all. I love how deep this sink is. The sink is really deep. I love the tone and the color of the kitchen. I feel like it gives the apartment such a light and airy vibe. You know, like it's super open. Um, sometimes like having a dark cabinet can kind of close up the room. So I do always tend to go for lighter colored cabinets. I also love this stove top, love the oven. Really nice. Stainless steel appliances, double door fridge. I love how much cabinet space I have. This kitchen really reminds me of my last apartment because I had a lot of storage room. I'm guessing this is my pantry. Ooh, look at that. She finna organize her pantry, honey. Like, this pantry is deep. This will honestly fit about four bar stools very comfortably, okay? I love the backsplash. This is really nice. Then, let's turn around here to the living room. Oh, this living room. Okay, this area here in my living room is about to be my office space. My couch is gonna go right here. Then my TV is gonna be against that wall here. So, but yeah. Then let's get into the balcony, honey. I'm definitely gonna have a nice little thing going on out here. I'm gonna put up some chairs. I have my own little area and from the outside looking in this is the bedroom living room beautiful view let's go back inside it's just such an open space i love it let's get into the bedroom y'all this bedroom is so spacious okay this can fit comfortably a queen size bed right here. My dresser is going to fit. My little vanity is gonna fit. Typically I had it right here. Waking up to this view in the morning and thanking God for my blessings. Okay, so nice little bedroom. Going to the bathroom. Oops, oops. We need the lights. Okay, so here is the bathroom. There is a um, linen closet, vanity, mirror, here I am. I love this. I love this touch. Just hang up your towels here. Your water. This is kind of like me inspecting the apartment too. If anything seems like it ain't working, so I can let them know today. Toilet with the fancy flesh, okay. <laughs> I like this touch as well. And I love my little garden tub. Like, y'all know I really wanted a stand-up shower. Like, I just got spoiled in my last place. But honestly, I do miss taking my bath. So, we finna get this garden tub going, boo. Then here's my closet. Very spacious. It should fit most of my junk. I don't know. These pull-out little caddies. And you can go right back out this door so if you have guests they don't have to come through your bedroom they can just come through this door to use the bathroom it's the lighting that's gonna be in here for me it's the lighting like i really that is one thing i really wanted was an open space all right y'all it is so hot up in here went to my car to get some cleaning products girl this place is like it needs to be cleaned like it's clean but i feel like it's so dusty in here I'm a Swiffer after they drop my boxes, like, you know, later on. 
but I'm gonna start with the kitchen and I'm about to wipe things out, like scrub these, this place, okay? Okay, just cause it look clean, so I mean, it's clean. such a mess y'all see i'm cleaning all right i am cleaning i'm cleaning the bathroom the guys just left So all of this is just going to be hanging out here, honey, for now, until I figure out what my plan will be with the decor, because I am going to change some things around. My couch is there, as you can see. I have to fix all the pillows and make room and all of that. Oh. Yeah, this was in my old apartment. It was my console table because there was this space when you walked in in the hallway so since i don't have that here in my hallway my hallway is different there's a storage room right there i'm gonna end up placing it like here and make it a bar cart i think that would be an amazing idea i have to sweep this balcony tomorrow honey because it's looking crazy today it is 6 30 p.m and your girl is a beat i done cleaned up this place everything has been moved in 
and um really all i have to do is unpack tomorrow I, i'm actually starving and i don't have any groceries so i'm gonna go get me something to eat i need to explore the area i guess i'm gonna look up what's near me probably like stop at a drive through place and come right back because i'm not trying to be in these Atlanta streets honey at night okay by myself but yeah so i wanted to come on here and close out the vlog of course i want to thank y'all so much I'm watching this video earlier it was a um sermon by sarah jake's okay td jake's daughter and the message that she was talking about was from limping to walking i think that's what um the the title was and the message in the video was like about suffering right it's talking about suffering it's talking about struggles it's talking about um challenges we go through in life and she was saying make sure that you are struggling for a purpose make sure that on the other side of your struggle there is a purpose there is an outcome there is a reason okay don't stay stuck in a situation in a job in a relationship and struggle with no purpose for no reason god does not want you to go through that but you will struggle through life you will struggle in life for a purpose for a reason i don't know that message just stuck with me i've been feeling like god is sending me messages and he be sending me little um, hints through my day in small things. Like I'll click on a random video, watch a random TikTok, like pull up, a, you know, get on Instagram randomly and just see an exact message that pertains to my exact situation at the perfect time when I need it. You might be going through a phase in your life right now where you're like, damn, I can't wait to graduate. I can't wait to get out of this house. I can't wait to get out of this state. I can't wait to do better for myself. I can't wait to be able to afford more and to do this and to do that. And I'm just here to tell you that you can. I'm just here to tell you to trust the process, to keep doing that hard work, to keep doing what you're doing, to not discourage, to not get discouraged, to not give up to not quit, even though you might not get accepted the first time in that program, you might not get that job the first time. Do not quit and absolutely believe in yourself and put God first. That is literally what I've been living by, y'all. Like, literally. So I just want to end this video here with this message. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. Y'all, we are only 2,000 subscribers away from 100K. Like, this is mind-blowing. I love you all and I'll see y'all in my next video.